Today we're teaching YouTube's biggest food critic how to cook like a chef. Hello, hello, Uncle. How are you? Hello, niece and nephew. Uncle Roger has reviewed just about every chef and home cook that there is. Today we're at Uchi Houston, a true fine dining restaurant that's seen the likes of many Michelin chefs. This restaurant, fine dining. This look moderate, upscale at best. I think you're overselling this sweet Joe, Uncle Joshua. <sighs> Uncle Roger, here's the thing. You can't be wearing that. You're gonna have to wear this. What the hell is this sh Croc? <laughs> what year is this 2005? Non-slip shoes. This shoe okay? See? <laughs> now we have to sanitize this. How's your back? Back not very good. A lot of back pain. <laughs> From too much pounding. What? What do you mean? Pounding, you know, pounding. With a mortar and pestle? Yeah, sometimes with mortar and pestle, sometimes with other things. Too much pounding. Blow up my back, you know? <laughs> The first thing about kitchen etiquette, you have to know the space around you. Make yourself aware. Don't run into people. If we're gonna walk past this beautiful gentleman. You're gonna say behind. Behind. So you need to round a corner, but you don't know who's there. Bang, that's how you run into somebody. You call corner. Oh, Uncle Joshua, what if I say <laughs> off, <laughs> off? Does that work also? You're gonna go on the walk-in, knock first. <laughs> off. And when you exit, make sure you all right, Uncle Roger, you've seen the kitchen. Now it's time to talk about this. Show me how you hold it. Like this. Oh, it's, that's actually accurate. Uncle Roger can't travel with this. I'm gonna get deported. But who hijacking plane with fancy Japanese knife? Hiya. All right, so knife skills. Everything needs to be precise. You want even cuts. So I'm gonna show you a brunoise. Take the knife. You know how to hold it. I'm going to cut across, and you're kind of like doing a very fine dice in a way. When you slice across the grain, that has to be equally as even. It's the same exact distance that I went this way. Ooh. So what you end up with is even cubes. Ooh, yo. You want the uncle title, you cannot skip this. Yeah, I agree. Now, Uncle Roger, it is your turn. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Uncle Joshua Pro, you can slice while talking. I have to fully concentrate and I still f***ing up. <laughs> we, just, we just turned the board, we just turned the board. No, not the board. I just want to be at home and watch TV. Beautiful. He's doing it. I'm surprised, Uncle Roger. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, a little bit uneven. If you feed this to blind person, they go, oh, it's the same. It's very good. <laughs> nice skills are done. We have a lot more to cover, but you know. Where'd you get that? Starbucks. Because apparently this fine dining restaurant don't even have coffee machine. Hey, Uncle Roger, I need you to peel 100 oranges. What? 100 orange? How many customers you expect to have? I'll be right here. You got this. Woo! Hiya. <laughs> this guy laughing at me. Okay, my turn, my turn. <laughs> it, Uncle Roger, give up. I'm gonna leave it to you, okay? You do it, you do it. How'd it go? Ooh, good, good, good. Uncle Roger sliced a hundred orange. Yeah. Just like you requested. That was fast. Uncle Roger, natural at taking things off. It sounds like you're ready. Cool. Well, so we're going to make the hamachi dish. We have a loin of hamachi. It's going to be a crudo dish, so it's all raw. We're not going to cook it. Instead, we're going to slice this very beautifully into cubes. Remember how we showed the broom Yeah. We're doing that, but bigger. Big and chunky. You need to feel it inside me. You put it inside you. What? Feel it. What? What? Let the knife do the work. The way that you know the fish is good is if you listen carefully. Listen. If you start listening to your fish, you know you need more friend. One fluid movement from heel to tip. Just make fish and chip. Just bread this and fry it. No need chopping. Save time. Hiya. Caviar on fish and chip. What has happened to you? So you saw how I did this. Here's the knife. I'll be right back. Uncle Roger didn't pay attention. Ah. He sounds like yoga teacher. You ever noticed that? Okay. All right. How are you doing over here? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Not, Not bad. Okay. Hamachi's done. On to the rest of the components. We're moving quick. Okay. Sense of urgency. The only time Uncle Roger feels sense of urgency is when I have to take a sh and there's no toilet around. Working at a restaurant, you constantly feel like you need to take a sh Exactly, exactly. Okay. And sometimes you do. Oh, oh, okay. A relish is versatile. It goes with almost anything. So you're saying relish is like white people, MSG? Next, we have Castle Vetrano olives. We're gonna, we're gonna cut it into sort of these rough rings and then run your knife through it really oh, quick. Oh, so easy. No. You're already, you already skipped the direction I showed you. Fine dining, yeah? It's fine. It's fine. Dragging motion, I like that. You're adapting. Sometimes you get something thrown at you, you gotta improvise. It's just called common sense. No need to use big wood. Not bad. See, which one Joshua, which one mine? You don't even know. Now we make the relish. Bowl, we have our Bruno apple. That's going in, olive. So when you season, you need to be very intentional. You wanna balance it. Lemon, salt, to taste. To taste, taste what? You're not even tasting well, we're, it? We're gonna taste in a second. Oh, this pretentious <laughs> wood. And then a little bit of olive oil. Hi, yeah. And then you're gonna stir. What are you doing this for? You achieved the exact same 
same thing as doing this. No wasted movement. I thought you were about precision. Last thing is our broth. This is a lacto-fermented tomato broth. Ah, look like dishwashing liquid. So we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, kind of brighten it up a little bit. It's one of the greatest things of all time, shirodashi. You don't even need the tomato bowl, just use dashi. Mm. Oh no, 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 we need it, we need it for the customers. Time to plate, freshly sliced fish. We're gonna think about how much we need, couple spoonfuls, salt to taste. Ooh, a little bit of olive oil, and then a touch of lemon juice. Gently toss this together. Plate, center ring. Using ring too fancy. Just fish and soy sauce, Michelin star. You do all this shit. How many Michelin star you got? See? We're take this ring mold out. Nice. We're gonna take our relish. We're gonna add in little intervals. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Now we have our candied garlic there. Hmm. You know when you eat this, it all turns into mush in your stomach. You know that, right? More shallot. Last bit. It's going to be our tomato broth right in the center like that. And then all the oil oil dots in there. Finish it with microgreens. I don't know how you feel about microgreens. No. Finished. I'm telling you this too fancy. But Uncle Roger, try. Woo, it's time for service. You're gonna go back to the kitchen. You have everything you need. So, see you later. I'd like three hamachi, please. Fire three hamachi. All right, first step is the fish, olive oil, with the relish go in there. No, the relish go on top after. A bit of salt, a bit more olive oil, stir it together. The lemon go in. Oh yes, the lemon in. The lemon. Now we play ring. Where the tweezer? Where the tweezer? Oh no! Rule of three. Dashi prof. Bing! Are we done? One hamachi crudo here. Whew. Cilantro. Oh sh! You didn't give me cilantro. Oh, there it is. Hamachi with cilantro. Okay, Uncle Roger got this. Next plate. Uncle Roger gonna give this one a bit more fish because I like this customer. Ooh! Fried garlic. Gonna give this customer more. Don't forget the cilantro this time. The olive oil. Maybe squirt it around the side also. Fuyo! Hamachi crudo. One last one. I got this, no problem. You know, actually, can I have a steak? Cancel last hamachi. Fire one wagyu on the fly, please. What? Steak? Uncle Joshua never teach me how to make steak. Come on, Uncle Roger. You gotta be faster. Oh. What am I gonna do? Sometimes you get something thrown at you, you gotta improvise. Behind. When you exit, make sure you... So when you season, you need to be very intentional. Just use MSG. You want even cuts and let the knife do the work. I think I'm missing something. A relish is versatile. It goes with almost anything. <gasps> White people, MSG, for you! <sighs> I think it still need a little bit of sauce. It's one of the greatest things of all time. Sheer dashi. Done, have to run it out to customer. Hello, hello. This is the best steak I've ever eaten. For you! I hope he's not acting. I hope he actually mean it. MSG never fail, but little nephew, you need to learn how to use chopstick properly. Look at that sh Uncle Roger, fantastic display of improvisation. I'm proud of you, I am. I think I'm onto something with the dashi steak. Mm. So I hope you learned to support your local restaurants. Thank you to Uncle Roger, and thank you to Uji Houston for making this happen. Oh, you caught this local restaurant. I thought you say fine dining. It's a local fine dining restaurant. Okay, whatever you say. Don't forget to subscribe, and also to him, his link will be in the description. Uh...